if you look at a corporate or mainstream media approach to analyzing what is occurring in the moment, because they are owned by the very people perpetuating the crimes, the corporate and mainstream media only focuses on certain parts of whatever they are seeing. They never go to the source or the whole, or they, they never expose the true levels of corruption that are there. And so what's happening now is truth comes out regarding COVID that the, call them the freaking nutballs, the emperor has no clothes. Uh, the, the people that are attempting to coerce our species into a certain way of being that is less connected, that is isolated, alone, afraid, not feeling good, and working like a slave. Those people, and there are a few of them, are really starting to irritate us aware, conscious beings that understand what is going on, see what is going on, but we're all just individuals within this world, and most of us don't have plans to go take over countries and to steal the wealth of the, the people. So the normal people, or I don't know normal people, but let's just say you and me, Let's not give names to ourselves. Let's not go down a certain naming category path because that's where all the problems start to happen is when the simplicity of a true analysis is lost because of all this wording that confuses the mind and gets humans talking endlessly in circles. So there are a few very few who are manipulating things in such a manner that we can't have a real accurate appraisal of reality because there's so much deception and there's so much lying. This has been the, the methodology, of the old paradigm. So you have to jump out of that. You have to rise above it and see how our species has been interacting economically for all of these years within this structure of enslavement. Now we're moving into a world where the conscious aware beings do not want to participate in this anymore. And Again, when you call yourself a name, all of a sudden you're, you're going to jump into the divisions between humans when, to me, there's most of the species and the freaking nutballs. If you made that distinction, you would begin the analysis of the problem in the right spot. Because if you don't do that, you get lost within the games disinformation campaigns of the freaking nutballs using their wealth to keep the masses, us, in a perpetual state of confusion and never addressing the real problem. And that's what this video is about. To begin to have the whole species get pointed at the real problem. Because if we don't address that, and if we do, don't acknowledge that, we're never going to break free of what is happening right now. And the freaking nutballs kill people like me that expose, but no one's quite done it in this way. Because by the time the freaking nutballs understand that the whole world understands that they're the freaking nutballs, hopefully, the plan will have enacted itself such that it doesn't matter if we're alive or dead, but those guys are gone. That's a deep part of the very secret plan, and I've kept it sweep, and I would like to 
show myself as a somewhat reasonable man. And when you look at a comedy show where you look at humor, or you look at a methodology of how to deal with insanity, you can't just take bits and pieces. You got to see it all together at some point. This video may, may not come to light until the right time, but when it does, this is like one of the most important videos I've ever made because this is the true death boom to the freaking nut balls because our species has finally come to the point of recognition, identification, galactic law. You guys are out.